Okay. I've got some time to stream for I don't know how long. It might be another two, two, uh, three or so hours. But before I forget, I'm going to go after this uh, goddamn ser serial killer before I forget because there's some decent items in there, if I remember correctly. Some of them sell worth a bit. And there's also, like, I think some other goodies in there that will help, like, uh... I thought there's, like, items that I use for, like, crafting. Some of those items, like the... Like the old compass and shit like that. That's, uh, stuff I think I ought to find out in the world or get from quests. Like, I got the quartz chunk for, um, giving that one dinosaur bone. But if I keep giving me more shit, I get, like, money and some other stuff from her. So I can't sell that quartz chunk, thankfully. Because it would suck if I accidentally could sell that. <laughs> like, oh no. Should probably look up some of these uh, stranger missions and see when I can play some of them. Because some of the places I've read, road past, like roads and whatnot, didn't pop in. So I don't know when the hell I could play them. That's weird. The thing that annoys me about this book is that sometimes I'll write stuff like really late.
Hmm. Okay. Uh, There we go. I found a something I can do. Actually, I need to find this the insular killer for anything. Oh, shit. Newspapers, yeah. And no new newspapers, really. God damn. This person is somewhere around here. I think it's this place. this black bear to the, the trapper, but I'll just sell it. Oh yeah, just get the butcher shit. <laughs> Damn it. Drunk again, dude. I live in front of the saloon next to the freight station. You know if I'm sure, sure. Just head over that way. You'll get home fine. Thank you, mister. <laughs> Certainly do appreciate it. Certainly do. Welcome. I do appreciate your help. Handsome skin, yes, sir. My landlady's damn bank clerk shop ran off with her money, so she aims to raise the rent on us poor slobs. Uh huh. I'm gonna eat well today. Idiot. Thank you for your help. Let's go check on this home that I helped out. There's actually a bunch of event things like that that uh, that um, that place that wood company that I found where they were chopping down trees. One of them was supposed to fall on someone when you heard timber and I could have helped them, but I 
missed that bit. Maybe I'll skip because I'll do it. But no, <laughs> hey there. How's it going? Well, it ain't going at all. We're broke. We're about ready to call it quits. To be honest with you, listen, I, 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 I hate to ask, but but uh, is there any way that you could help us get the supplies that we need to finish? Yeah. All right. Free money. Here you go. But you best not be playing me for a fool. Oh, I ain't, mister. I swear. I'll be back later for what you owe me. I'll have it just as soon as we manage to sell this place off. Yep. It's yep. another place where by the time you get to the epilogue of the game, the, the place is like a uh, very nice looking, it's a very nice house. Too bad you can't live in it. What the hell is this? Oh, hey. Eh. It's already wanting to market for me. So we'll find the, uh, the killer. There we go. That journal, shit. Or wait, will he just put in the combination? He just puts in the combination, okay. And newspaper clippings too. I don't want to spend time zooming in on them, but they're basically of all the murders that's been going on around places, even like as far as Blackwater. Letter to the editor. He's probably not happy of how uh, his uh, stuff's been produced or uh, being said. He's like, "Nah, you should make it sound better, buddy." The letter from his mom. You can pause and, you know, read if you want. But basically it just means that uh, he's not right in the head, this guy. Oh, Jesus. surprise or maybe it's both maybe it is a nasty surprise even though you knew I was going to be here which is it you should think about that save yourself thinking about what's about to happen now I'm not going to lie. It's not going to be nice. And fun. I mean, it'll be fun for me, but it won't be nice for you. Fuck you. Uh, uh, 
wasting my time. Bastard. One punch and knocked him out. What a pussy. Let's go for a ride, you sick bastard. Put him on the floor and let's take a look at him. Fella been... Been... Well, it ain't nothing nice. A lot of folk disappeared over the past few years. This sick son of a bitch, well, he ain't right in the head. That's so. Head over to the cellar of that broke-down shack on the road to the falls. See for yourself. Okay, well, come on, Eve. My name is Edmund. Edmund Lowry, Jr. And you'll remember that, my friend. I'm sure I shall. Well, you are a frightening fella. Oh, I'll behave, sir. I'll behave as expected. Well, you better. And I'll get you a lawyer. Don't you worry about that. You get in that cell, come as you be. This carbine came from. <laughs> Thank you, my lord. What a monster! Yeah. Well, like I said, have someone head up to his cabin. I uh, think he killed quite a few. Uh, oh, there's a lot of sick uh -huh. bastards out there. Here, here, here's some money for your trouble. Thank you, sir. Where's a deputy when you need one? Fix you up. Hello. Why does it smell like piss over here, John? What are you asking me for? Hey, you're the fella that thought Tommy ain't you. 
You want to have some fun? God damn annoying ladies yeah, all you, here. Mind. you ain't men. No, I fought 50 engines. You lot whine if a bear comes in your yard. Hello there, mister. Here's my bet. Thanks for your assistance. Head back to camp. Well, actually, no, no, let's not head back to camp yet. Let's over to West Elizabeth area and find that uh, shack. It's over here somewhere. I can't remember where though exactly. It's above the W, so it's probably somewhere in like. this general area. Well, uh, let's go back to camp. Yeah. Hopefully it's still going to happen, even though it's daytime now. I hope I didn't miss it. If I missed it, then I'm going to have to reload the last save file and just haul ass back to camp and do the thing all over again. <laughs> Symbol still there. Well, I don't want to head back there then. If the music symbol is still there, even by this morning, then it should be good. Let's load the auto save that I just did. It'll teleport me back to town. Not a lot, a whole lot of requests from people. There's some, but not a whole lot. There's uh, 22 total, but only so many for the camp. Train. Catch up with that train. Yep. You need to find a different place to stand around. Damn it, horse. Yep. Let's stop it anyway.
Just shoot one bird, I think, yeah? For the sharpshooter challenge? Yeah, it's one bird. This place is hostile as hell, though. Private property and all that. Take a shot and get the hell out of here. Be sorry! You were one dead on right. Oh, brother. Come on! Fuck off! picked up a warm Schofield. Things warm though, so it's not going to be very great quality. But I got two Schofields because they're decent damage. But this is better though. I'll just do that and then have the Schofield on, uh, on the one end. I just saw, um, when I was looking at the map, I just saw that location, Mount Shane, or Mount Shan, or whatever it's called. It was Mount Shane. But uh, that location is uh, a location where I can see the, the another UFO. It's just not too far from that house I saw with that UFO in there we saw last time. It's weird, Arthur never made a mention of that in his journal. Like, I found something really weird, but I had no idea, like, heads or tails with the make of it. Like, was yeah. it actual aliens? Like, I think I'm losing my mind. Like, I think he'd say something like that, but no, he didn't, he didn't say a damn thing. Just, you know, complete, utter silence from him. And I looted this before, but I thought I would, like, respawn with a new loot. Hmm, I guess not. Oh. You're here again? Did you... Maybe earn your fortune. Maybe today is the beginning of the end. Help a blind man. Take this. Make your final moments your best moments, sir. No glory and forget about shame. Okay. I ain't too sure what to make of that. Come on, boy. Pretend to be sick like. Killers ain't gonna stop for no invalid. They don't want no consumption. Well, they might not stop for you and me, but they might stop for a lady. 
Got it. Didn't think I got it for a second. Here, bitch. Oh, yeah, come here. Get up. Nice. No dresses, was you? <laughs> no, don't grab that shit. Kill three birds of prey with only a tomahawk. Huh. At least it's not in like a certain amount of time though. That would suck. Not much else I can grab here because I'm full on shit. So take some of those, I guess. I wish there was a quicker way to cook this shit, but I guess not. <laughs> Thank you. 
fall on that. Let's go, boy. Get him. Easy now. Oh, poor bastard. Hold on, I'm coming. You gotta get this off me. I'm going numb. <laughs> you alright? Oh, this looks bad. No, I'm not alright. It's real bad. Come on, quick. I can't stay here much longer. Keep at it. Oh, God. You did it. Praise Jesus. Oh, God. Praise Jesus. <laughs> I gotta, gotta grab something for, for the blood. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I was uh, done for it. You saved me. Thank you. <laughs> Take something from my back for the trouble, though. I'm, I'll give you a whiskey. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a, take a minute now. Yeah. Drink this for the pain. Oh, 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 God, yes. My leg feels like it's like it's on fire. You take care now. <laughs> what is this? Just a little table. Okay there. I don't know if like washing clothes and shit. It looks like.
Grabbing you, pal. Grab this bad boy and we'll turn it back into camp. Easy, easy. Fuck, missed him. Some bitch. Really go. Whoa. 
save the game real quick, just in case I, you know, get my ass handed to me. Right away, I thought it'd be cool about it. Head's gone, bitch. See you running, bitch. Gang hideout. You take on these gangs and taking out their hideouts and finding their camps and getting ambushed by them or whatnot is all part of like the 100% as well. I think it's in a uh, somewhere in here. The gangs four to six discovered. Some can't be discovered till way later. Driscoll boys. I gotta find one more gang camp. I found out both their hideouts. 
Yeah, it was the key. It was that one cabin, and it was the, this this uh, little farm here. Get a lot of their gang members. Five unique encounters. Two ambushes survived. Got to find one more camp though. That's out there. The Moyen Raiders. Well, they've got only a few uh, hideouts. Like th I think they had two or three as well. And then there's three camps, of course. Ambushes and bounties. No Driscoll bounties, which kind of sucks, but. Um, Murphy Brood, yeah, no no bounties for them, but they have a couple of caps and then like one hideout, I think. Maybe two. The, the Murphy Brood. Haven't discovered them. The Del Lobos we discovered, but that's just because we, you know, killed five of their members. The only time we'll ever discover them, they're mostly down in our, yeah, uh, down in the, t the town of Thieves Landing is one of their hideouts. They have five hideouts. That's a lot. They're all over New Austin. Then I think this is, these two are... Epilogue people, I think, as well. Or, no, one of them isn't epilogue, but the the Del Lobos and the other one are epilogue, technically. Probably shouldn't stay here too long, because I think if I do, I'm going to probably have the law come on me. story at some point, but it's like way later. Take that. Two of them, huh? Okay. So, 
Wolves out here somewhere. Shit, bounty hunters. Bounty on my fucking head, shit. Here it is. Whoa.
Is it perfect uh, quality, I wonder? Probably not. You're all right, boy. Hold on. Perfect. Shit. I need the... Do I even need perfect bear pelt for anything at the camp? I don't think so. There's people passing by here. Maybe I'll just grab one of their horses and uh, ride on back to camp. No, I'll just look it up. I don't want to waste my fucking time with that shit. Um... All right. Nice a cigarette card.
Another cigarette card. Oh wow, black little spider, my favorite. Fucking hate spiders, fuck that. Person really liked Annabelle. Carry more silver pocket watches, huh? Fuck. I sold that. Where can I find Hosea a novel? Out near the bayou, damn. Fucking. Head the roads again. Yeah. It didn't work. It shit. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Is that a snake? I think you need to find someone else. I can taste you already. Hey, careful how you go. Can't you see I'm tracking game here? Okay, sure. Good luck. Yep.
hunting a grizzly, seriously? Saw you over there. Hey, what the hell are you doing? That was mine. Thought I'd help you out, dude. You went to get killed. I don't need the skin to fuck you. Should have waited longer than the bear would have actually gone in. We took a swipe at him and I could have saved him then. Yep. Welcome 
back. Pleasant travels. To Saint Denis. Best make yourself scarce now. Piss off. Like you can gain honors from being polite, saying hi to people. <laughs> it's always always cracking me up. You're all right, boy. Hey. According to the great teachings of our master, this land is our heaven, and the two oceans are our shells. It is only here that we can truly be ourselves, where man can find his place in heaven. This, this is Chelonia, the one true American's religion. The one true Bible that was handed down 100 years ago, this year, to our prophet from above. Morning, dear. Hello, sir. 
Can I interest you in Chelonianism? Uh, I don't know. Can you? Well, I hope so. It is a fascinating religion that was taught to a very wise master about a hundred years ago in a land not very far from here. Take a book, please. Okay. You've made a wonderful choice. It is a religion of safety. A religion made by gods who understood what life is. Not what life could be, but what it is. And it is very dangerous. But with Chelonianism, it can be safe. Well, it's all in this book. Uh, am I boring you? Uh, a little. I'm sorry. Have a wonderful day. And Chelonian is in full shed. I never did it with Jamie, but if you actually killed the, the master that Jamie was with, um, that kid that we tried to save, they'd actually all jump off the cliff. I, 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 I shit you not, they would actually jump off the cliff. <laughs> Like, he, when he dies, re-rise, and they just shoo, fucking jump right off. And I'm like, holy shit, every time I see that, it makes you go like, what the fuck did I just witness? <laughs> There's a stranger quest somewhere around here. Maybe it's up here. I think it's through here, maybe. Just the mayor's place. Shit. There's a fancy schmancy dude that's uh, around here somewhere, but I don't know where the fuck he's at. Ah, here I think. What's gotten into you? Not here. What the hell? It's down near the bayou somewhere around here, I think. Or here. Doctor. Please do something. Uh, uh. Take it easy there. Easy. Easy. It's okay. Shh, shh, shh. Easy there. Easy. You're okay. Whoa now. Easy. Easy. I'll get you help. Just 
Stay alive. Okay. Come on. <gasps> okay. There you go. That's a good girl. Back in my younger days, I was a good girl. We're nearly there. Just hold on a little longer, all right? Must stay awake. Extraordinary. Where... Where am I? But you give up now. I can't believe my eyes. I'm dying. Jeez. This is it. No, you're not. I'm gonna get you there. Good. I don't forget the sight. My arm. I can't feel it anymore. Sit him down in this chair. What happened? Just saw you fall out of the saddle. Don't worry, you're at the doctor. Thanks, friend. I appreciate it. Sure. There's also the matter of my payment. But we'll deal with that later. All right. All right. A lot of blood loss. This wound's badly infected. I'll save as much as I can, but I'll have to amputate. What? What did you say? Just try to breathe. Uh, I'll give you something for the pain. No. Uh, there you are. Then I'll knock him out for a while. You did a good thing bringing him here. But now, I'd recommend moving along. <clears throat> you do not want to see this. All right. If you say so. Sorry, it's come to this. Think we double. He's seriously not hear me? Come on, dude. He's not that far away. The horse can't hear me. They're not gonna hear me. I'm done being kind. Last warning.
That you can shake me down, huh, bitches? Letter from them, huh? This is the place. Hey, partner. Hello. So, you heard anything about any uh, bounty hunters in these parts? Sorry, ain't got a clue. Yeah, I was just uh. Wondering. Bye now. Definitely like that. I'm gonna leave you cold. God damn it! and keep walking, huh? Don't have to tell me twice. Just show the damn law can be done with it. And have it bounce off and hit me? You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, sometime before I turn too old to spend it would be nice. I don't see you doing nothing except talking all manner of crap. Hey, I got the safe. And I outran the sheriff in the wagon. I'm getting real sick of you right about no, now. No, same for me. Twice, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, see? So look at that. I told you. Huh. Well, it took you long. Thank you, gentlemen. I'll take your hard-earned money. <laughs> uh, 
a bad haul. Forty bucks, I'll take it. Okay, boy. Now I'm going to go back to camp, <laughs> turn in these pelt, and uh, celebrate with the boys because that's one of my favorite moments is that there's only two moments where the camp will actually have celebrations, like they'll actually party, drink, and sing campfires around the song. I love that kind of detail. Of course, we're only celebrating because Sean's back and, you know, Sean McGuire, he's, since he's Irish, he knows he's going to get pissed drunk. <laughs> okay, I love that guy. I love when you save him. He's like... I bet you boys piss me, but don't worry, not the joy is back in your lives. <laughs> Jesus, get him out of here. Let's go to the gunsmith, do a little customization since we got money. Saint Denis. Just got little carriages and shit walking around. Welcome, sir. Come in and have a grouse. Let me know what you are looking for. Can I buy any other weapons or do I have to go through more of the story? Yeah. Can I go through more of the story before I can get a little team at revolver or another double action? Oh, M1891199. I thought that. Oh, they do have those pistols in the game. I thought I saw someone have it when I watched him play this game. Uh, but I didn't know if it was actually a mod or what. I guess they must have added it in later on, because I'm pretty sure that wasn't there originally. Or maybe it's only in this shop you can get it, and that's why I, the other shops I went to, I never noticed it. This town can be dangerous after dark. Always go armed. Maybe you think about it and come back to it. I can see you look after your firearm. I could add some rifling into that barrel if you want. Makes it much more accurate. Why not? That's going to be great. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. I can do some nice ornate engraving on there. If you like, good price. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. Good carving on this one, actually. Let's see. You'll have one as a snake and one as a scorpion for when I get two sidearms. I can see you look after your firearm. Would you be interested in me changing some of the parts at all? Yeah, let's upgrade this a little bit. So you use this for hunting a lot. You will feel the difference right away. No scope though. I don't like using a scope on this thing. This does nothing but change the green, I won't do that. We also offer an engraving service in case you are interested.
I want to give like the bolt action that, a shotgun that one, and then, uh, and then maybe a repeater that one. Yeah. Very good chop suey on the street. Say I sent you. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. I can see you look after your firearm. I can do some nice ornate engraving on there. If you like, good price. I could fit some different stocks of you. Could make it more comfortable on the shoulder. We also offer an engraving service in case you are interested. We stock some of the finest quality guns in the South. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. I can do some nice ornate engraving on there. If you like, good price. I can see you look after your firearm. We also offer an engraving service in case you are interested. If you're heading anywhere near the slums, you should take a lot of bullets with you. So we're take a ride to Valentine then. Oh, 
never liked taking the trains. I swear, they may have improved it then, but I swear every time I took the fucking train, goddamn horse would run into the fucking train like in the cinematic and die. And it always pissed me fuck off. I was like, why are you doing this, you dumbass horse? <laughs> like, I hate you so much. This is it. We're here. Thanks for that, partner. All the best. You this bored, you want to make an enemy? Another alarm going off. Mostly my alarms to wake up. <laughs> I have like multiple of them because I'll sleep through most of them. Shit. Didn't think about that. What the hell's going on? Why is it uh, skipping time like this? Oh. Hey, listen. I just wanted to say, I know you bastards missed me. <laughs> Even you, Arthur. Even you. <laughs> Here we go. Well, no speeches, please. I'm back home now. Oh, so everything's going quit. to be okay. Oh, Uncle Sean is you. back. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, you old crone. You I'll keep them girls in line. If you I have to whip them, I will. And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest no game in the pot. Now, Deadly Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. I, have I love you, bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have we lots of fun. I'm <laughs> sure yeah, you will. Even you, you grumpy old bastard, Arthur. <laughs> Can we drink now, please? Uh-oh, here comes trouble. I just can't get rid of you, can I? Mind if I join you fine folks? <laughs> I suppose. You're looking lovely as ever, if I may say so. Oh, stop it. Imagine riding with right him there. all the way from Blackwater to here. This stupid. So, what now? Come on. How about a song? <laughs> He'll be drinking till dawn now, I bet. Oh, let him Listen, have some fun. Friend. He's been through a lot. You know I thought you Irish enjoyed a party, Molly. I am enjoying it. I just don't need to fall over drunk with the rest of them. You know this one, don't you? Go join in. She says, young man, you're rather low for a tail diddle diddle all the day. <laughs> I put my finger on her knee, my girl, well, what, what I, I do say. She says, young man, you're rather free for a tail diddle diddle all the day. I put my arm around her waist, my girl, well, what I do say. She says, young man, you're in grace for the diddle 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 all the day. I put my hand upon her thigh, Mark, well, what I do say. She says you're getting pretty nice to my dead little dead all day. I put my hand upon her ass, Mark, well, what I do say. She says, let's lay down on the grass and diddle 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 all day. And we diddle diddle did, too. And they left, but then they jumped back in again. Stupid. 
You know what? That taught me something. And, and, and it taught me something I will never forget. And that's that most fellas are sheep. That's right. And, and if you can tell the difference between a... You, the difference between a sheep and a, a, a sheep and, and a man, then you, well, you, the, you, that makes you a better man than me, sir. And that's all I'm saying. Mark my words, all of you, mark my words. Stupid army. Sheep. I am ready to let loose tonight. Who been too long? You're always ready to let loose, Martian. Well, life's too short. Howdy, fellers. Hello. Hey, Arthur. Hey. Hi, Arthur. And they're dancing. Will you dance with me, Arthur? Sure. Sure. I ain't much of a dancer. See, Arthur, it's okay to dance. It doesn't mean we won't stop thinking you're angry and sad. Uh, what you think of me? <laughs> sad in a good way, like a romantic poet. Well, that's about all I can muster. Feels like ages since we've done this. Things are on the up again, finally. That's all for me. I mean it. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you again for the dance, Miss Gaskell. Anytime. You're better than I thought you'd be. Sean will make your life hell when he finds out you're an O'Driscoll. Oh, great. Just be grateful you're alive. John. Hi. How's it all going? Ain't been better. Well. The wind roams free, a wild song singing, and softly murmuring flows the stream. Come on. The bird roams free, its wild way winging. And I rove and sing with morn's first beam. Oh, I'm a wild girl. I sing a merry song. The wide, wide world I wander over. Oh, with a light, light heart I roll along. Oh, with a light, light heart I roll along. The good earth loves a wild free rover. For a roving bird is never dumb. Mm, no. He sings to please the dear old mother, and she I rewards him with a crumb. Oh, oh I'm a wild free rover. I sing a merry song. The wide, wide world I wander over, and the light, light heart I roll along. Hey, Lenny. Hello. Oh, oh, with the light, hey. light. Oh, Hi, Hi, Karen. Mr. Morgan? Now she's drunk. Did you miss him? You know, I think I actually did. 
There he is. Hi there, English. How are you doing? I'm good. When I was just <laughs> glad you know, I met a gal from old Bordeaux. She had blonde hair and blue eyes too. Let, Let me ride, ride on, on the ring dang dang and the ring dang do. Now what is that? It's soft and round like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and it's split in two. And that's what you call the ring dang do. <laughs> she took me down into her cellar. Said that it was a mighty fine show. Said me why <laughs> wish me to. to. Let, Let me ride on the ring dang do. The ring dang do. Now, now what, what is that? that? It's soft and round like, like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and it's split in two. And that's, that's what, what you call the ring dang do. <laughs> Her mom come in angrily said, now you have lost your maiden head. Pack your bag and coat packs too. Make your lid up, ring dang do, the ring dang do. Now what is that? It's soft and round like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and split it in two. That's what you call ring dang do. She went off to be a whore. Hey, this time upon her door. Dollar each and three for two. Take a crack at the ring dang do. The ring dang do. Now, now what, what is, is that? that? Soft and round like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and it's split in two. And that's, that's what they call, they call the ring dang do. <laughs> what a song. <laughs> You're a dirty man. Ah, yes. Hey, Sean. Oh, hey, Arthur. That was a good little song to sing with you boys. Let's check on the others. Good girls, don't get too drunk. Karen here loves the drink. A classic Sean McGuire speech. Yes, he's definitely back. We needed a reason to celebrate. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sure thing. You all right? Better out than in. Just take it easy, okay? Sean. Arthur. Hosea. Hi there. How are you holding up? As well as can be expected. That's the spirit. Thanks. Let's get a little drunk. I haven't gotten drunk in this game in a while since that time with uh, Lenny. <laughs> got plenty of free whiskey here. Good there, Marston. You doing all right? Pretty damn good, Mr. Marston. Arthur Morgan. How are you? Hell, I'm doing real good. Uh huh. All right, all right. He's a real 
charmer, ain't he? Like a dog on heat. Ha! <laughs> you said it, not me. <laughs> Sadie! You gonna wash off that blood? Ain't nothing to worry about. You doing all right? Okay, considering. Me too. Okay, then. Hi, Sean. Big man. <laughs> I'm not the marrying kind. <laughs> they wanted to kill me and feed me to their pigs. <laughs> well, I ran away and, well, I spent weeks in the jungle <laughs> gorging off giant cockroaches. Oh, God. True story. Say what? <laughs> I don't know. I just don't say anything. <laughs> These two. Bill, you're pretty drunk. And you're a funny fella. But you're okay. Well, you're not. Everyone things say your Dutch's pet. His pet? <coughs> yep. Like a dog or a cat. You're his favorite. Favorite? People care about that? Sure. I mean, it's, oh, it's like some do. Few people. Who? I don't know. Me or not me, maybe me. I don't, ah, shit, I don't know. I mean, like, hey, hey, it's like, okay, I love liquor, I love liquor, but liquor don't love me. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> pathetic. Genuinely pathetic. Come here, my sweet. Oh, Molly. Oh, She really hates me, Arthur. And she's always hated and love you. <laughs> That's how relationships go, I guess. Where's Jack at? Where are you going, Abigail? Miss Roberts. Mr. Morgan. How are things? Doing well. Good to hear. All right, then. Nice to see you, ladies. Arthur. It's beefsteak when I'm hungry and whiskey when I'm dry. Greenbacks when I'm hard up and hell when I die. 
Rye whiskey, rye whiskey, rye whiskey, I cry. If I don't get rye whiskey, I surely will die. Oh baby, oh baby, I've told you before. Do make me a pallet, I'll lie on the floor. I've rambled and trampled this wide world around. Raising hell with the gang, that's where I am found. It's with these gunslingers, dear Molly, I roam. I'm a rabble rouser, and Dixie's my home. If the ocean were whiskey, and I were a duck, quack, quack, I'd dive to the bottom and get one sweet sup. But the ocean ain't whiskey, and I ain't no duck. So I'll play Jack of Diamonds, and then we'll get drunk. Oh baby, oh baby, I've told you before Do make me a pallet, I'll lie on the floor Hey, folks. Hello. Hi. All right. Arthur! Hey, Bill. Hi there. I'm gonna get more pissed drunk. I wanna see if I pass out. <laughs> I think we just about gone through everything with these guys. Fellers. Sean. English. Yeah, let's sleep it off. 
Jesus. Early in the morning, the party's over. <laughs> One nice little party though. There's a lot of shit that I miss. Conversations. These I got some of the important ones. Like I like the ones with John Marston, some of his pals, some with Bill especially. Because you know it's funny that these guys are gonna kill each other at the end anyway. <laughs> said, Dutch. Are you keeping busy? Of course, you know me. Yeah, I got something for you. So, I found you a pipe. <laughs> well, will you look at that. You want these? I stole them anyway. Sure, why not? Hey, out there. You like this offer, don't you? I found this. Yes, indeed. And I haven't read this one. Thank you, Arthur. That one gives me a reward for later. Hey, you okay, Miss Karen? Dandy, well, how are you? Some party oh, last night. They haven't killed me yet. So. Who ain't? The boys around here. I might act tough. They're good boys, mostly. It's the mostly I'm scared about. Huh? Don't be. You'll be fine. You're one of us now. I'm grateful for being bored, lady. Soon enough, you're gonna be scared. Hey there. I think I might have had too much fun last night. Karen, Karen. Oh, shit. Oh, I checked my supper on my shoes last night. Well, I'm staying away from you then, damn it. <laughs> Let's contribute. It's been a while since we contributed. Now I've got some stuff I can contribute. Before I forget, I gotta remember to uh, craft, some, craft some stuff at the scout campfire. We'll donate. Uh, I won't do any of those right now. Let's check the, the ledger. Only when I see you, I'm 
Brooklyn when I see you. <laughs> It ain't nothing personal. Sure seems that way to me. But you know what? It probably is. All right, well, I should be getting on. Yep, yep. Okay, Arthur. You can't deal with the lizard. I am never drinking again. Until later today. How do you do? There we go. Well, let me use the ledger. Let me use the ledger and check out for some upgrades. We'll give one of these. Nice, not gonna access the main horse or even the stable horses. That's good, good, good. Now let's also get ourselves some real firepower for my tent. Yeah, get that too. You'll betray me in the end, Arthur. You're the type. That's so. You tell me. What? It's gotten to you. Dutch. Hi. Looks like a good book there. Yeah, it is. Well, I'll leave you to it. Okay, Arthur. Let's uh, see what we should do then. Um... First we'll go over to Pearson and turn in some shit. That deer's falling off, but whatever. My table awaits your offerings, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I hear you. You'll be able to make something nice with that. Just in time, Mr. Morgan. Very good. We were getting low. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. I've come up with some ideas for ways we could improve things around here if you want to take a look. I need panther, I need bison, I need iguana, I need beaver.
Appreciate it, Pearson. Sadie? Arthur! How are you holding up? It's like a nightmare I can't wake up from. It will get better, Mrs. Adler. All right, Arthur. You make three recipes here. You stalking me too, Arthur. You getting crazy, Dutch. Well, I've always been crazy, Arthur. You know that. You are starting to unnerve me, friend. I don't, I don't think you want me any more unnerved than I already am. Dutch. Crazy bastard. <laughs> what the hell's going on with him? do with a few improvements why don't you take a look at my the beaver iguana bison and panther and a cougar i'll keep my eye out for some good material and how are you hello abigail hi all right charles let's go hunting What you prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. <laughs> no, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mount up, then. Let's go. It was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. Where the bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people... Well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here to the left. <laughs> over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Easy now. Well 
well done. All right, skin and butcher it. Take the horns, too. It can all be used. Mount up. I want to go check something out. Okay, let's go. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. Like Charles, he's a cool dude. Holy shit! Whoa! No! Look, Bison, shot and left for dead. It looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know, but I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow him. All right, lead the way. Been dead a couple of days at least. They've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Because people like to kill it for sport, dude. Look, another dead bison. On the hill to the right. Come on. Oh, he just, he just spawned in. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm going to take a look. Since they left, Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher. See if we spot anything. You're all right, boy. This way. We should have a good view from up here. Okay. You see anything? see some smoke to the east. Maybe another camp? It's worth a look. All right. Let's go. Bastards. Just killing for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. Bison. It has to be them. Come on. Wait up. Did you fools shoot those bison? What's your problem? I said... Did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What? We. No! Ah! It's that business of mine! Good God, you're crazy! 
I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you <clears throat> killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us <clears throat> you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No, please, don't kill me. I'm begging you. All right, now get out of here. Oh, just don't, don't shoot me, mister. I got a family. Then run away. Why did you do that? He didn't need to die. Maybe he'll go tell his friends now what happens to poachers. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm going to... If there's anything worth taking from their camp, I'll catch up with you later. Lockbox, nice. Poison throwing knife pamphlet. Craft the poison throwing knife when we can. Nice. Nice. Was he a little war for me? Thank you, was there? Holy shit, where'd that, uh, fuck, where'd that bison pelt go? Here it is. Australia. Well, man, you'd be right. 
I never did. But I tried. I made it as far as Chicago. Chicago ain't nowhere near Australia. No, but it's on the way. I always wanted to see one of them kangaroos. Giant boxing rats who keep their babies in their pockets. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. What kind of lunatic thought that up? <laughs> That's an interesting way of seeing things. Maybe we'll head over there one of these days, huh? Yeah. Start a new life as kangaroo farmers. Well, there's a dream we ain't had yet. <laughs> hey, Arthur. There he is. You know, I can't hold any more predator paper, but I gotta pick it up so that more can spawn in. Make sure you get a good price for it. Thank you, Arthur. How are you on space in that bag of yours, Mr. Morgan? Just let me know if you need me to make you a new one. It's good that I went out and went hunting with Charles. Looks great, Pearson. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Well, I'd say it's time for bed. Not quite for me. I'm gonna help do rob a house with the. You busy? Okay. Not too busy. Why? I heard about a house. Could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. 
couple fellas I heard in town, they said, said it was really freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. But they're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course. Uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, more or less. Arriba. Arriba. Okay, say, we better like fast travel there because that's way too long of a ride. Go on foot from here. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. Good thing I pulled out some guns from you. I was about to say, what guns should I pull out? And they just pulled me out some guns, so that's good. There's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently. This family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? Oh, big place, right? Well, there's a pretty big barn in the back. It's not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. It's a large house. This desk could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Boy, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And... I got an idea. Follow me. All these trees, I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. Coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Hey, keep it down. I hear voices. Come on, let's hide behind this shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Maybe you hunt a pig this time once, Mal. Three perks spin. Don't score notions in the Jiffy Flemings head. Just stay quiet. Where you been now, Newt? Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I has gone but ten minutes I was. You can only get all the now day long, cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? No, Edie, get all the jam! You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. Your niece will pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What are we doing, Javier? Okay. You take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see.
have to put this out, don't you? Place else I can store it. Give me a hand. Come on, partner. Not bad. I told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Right, sounds good. Hey, you ever miss home? Must be hard being so far away. We didn't say anything. He should be saying something, but whatever. Picked it up for some reason.
Nothing, man. Come on. Oh, here's the pump action shotgun you could find. Oh, no, it's not here. It's somewhere else in, the, in this house, though. I think it's upstairs in the barn, actually. Find a pump action shotgun, but I've already bought one for free, so I don't really need to, you know, bother getting it. The fuck that weapon. should we do now? Uh, I've got a whole lot of time, so we'll just mess around by doing some uh, side stuff. Let's see. Let's head there then. This also kind of cold, so we might as well wear our, our winter outfit. One more species of animal to track with my binoculars.
Now this is a beautiful place. I love these types of springs. Oh, it's right. Oh, legendary animals in this area. I think it's the legendary wolf, if I remember correctly. Where is our legendary clue? There it is. Can't swim in this water if you try and enter. It's, I think it's really hot. This one ain't good. The wolf went in. Yeah. been here. Nice. Must be close. Bastard jump me, Jesus. Where's this treasure at? Or this second part of the map? I'm in Amarina, so it means I can check out the town of. There's a couple towns here as well.
Let's go after that bear that Jose and I failed to get last time. It's around the same area. Trying to get clean kills, and then we're cleaning it off. Fuck. Well, this one's perfect, actually. Perfect. We'll carry this carcass. Oh, but then I gotta. And we won't hunt the legendary bear. Then I want to do that bullshit. Bring the carcass back to camp so I can at least put a wolf skull in the camp. Silver to the um is there a goddamn station I can use? There's a bucket station, I don't think that's actually a train like an actual working train station. Canada Goose. Trapper anywhere near here? Wish I could all the trapper locations were marked. Wouldn't matter because there's, there's no trapper in Valentine for some reason. Okay, boy. <laughs> You're a good boy. 
It prettier, no sir. Hey, partner, nice to see you. Hey there, good to see you. How you doing today? Well, you see this here? American ginseng. Take a feller from not too bad to hardy as buck in no time. Really something. Yep, you don't find this every day. Dose this in your medicine, give it some zip. Believe me. Whatever you're selling, I ain't buying. Anyway, I ain't gonna use all of this, so feel free to help yourself to whatever's left. You take care now. Thanks. Be well, friend. Oh, fine eye, mister. Go ahead and turn in this wolf corpse, and then uh, we'll probably call it a day. Actually, hold on a second. It's decomposing now. It's still perfect. Okay, take it easy. Yep. How you doing? Good, brother. How are you feeling? Much better. Thought those mountains were gonna kill me. Seems I'll live a while yet. Oh, I know. Found a couple of things in town. Made us some money. You always do. <laughs> yes, I'm good at that. I... Uh... I messed up in Blackwater. I made a goddamn fool out of myself. You've done that before. <laughs> I know. Tell him, Arthur. Tell him we're okay now. 
We're okay, Dutch. Jose is right. We're just getting back on our feet. You'll get us out of this. We are out of this. We need to keep out of it. So what do you think? We need to make some money and find ourselves an escape route, same as usual. But we are making money. And we will find an escape. We are gonna be okay. I agree. We'll get some big money and... get lost. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Arthur. All right. Jose, how are you? Hello, Arthur. Okay, let's take a look. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Oh, Mr. Morgan. I've jotted down a few things that I think could be a nice addition for us. There it is. That'll make everyone happy, I'm sure of it. It makes you feel a bit more like home. I've come up with some ideas for ways we could improve things around here if you want to take a look. Might as well, I'll find another wolf later on. I think you're going to be popular after that. Guess we'll see if anyone notices. Contribute a little bit. Give some items. Actually, I don't have any items. Shit. Um, never mind then. Let me grab some medicine, then I'll get enough. Mr. Morgan. I went to Oil City for Hershey and Oil. With all my world traveling and roaming around, I spied a fair maiden so lovely. And gently to her I did say, she pulled up her garment, so scared it with soil. I out with old Phoenix went boring for oil. I hadn't been boring six inches or more. The oil from my auger so freely did pour. She wiggled her ass and looked up and smiled. Said, bear down on your auger, for you know you struck oil. Things went on and on for weeks and ten days. My auger was really with a fire Hey, come here, kid. What? Why? Don't you disrespect me, boy. I did it. Damn, Bill. You know, I don't like your attitude. <laughs> well, okay then. Ah! Damn right it's okay. Stay out of this, Morgan. The boy needs to learn some respect. Whatever you say. Half shit. What are you doing there, Arthur? Already feels like Sean's been back forever. Well, he makes his presence known. He does that. Hi, Karen. Hello, Arthur. Hello. Hi, Arthur. Hello, Tilly. Hey, Arthur. Let's just go ahead and save the game. Almost 40%, 30 or 30.1. 30 it's decent progress. No, I'll see y'all later. Or see y'all tomorrow, I should say.